Hello everyone, this is Overquake playing Professional Farmer 2014. Uh, about ready to do our first harvest it looks like. We've gone ahead and got our trailer here and we're just going to head across the street to go pick up our combine. And let's go try it out. Uh, this combine we just, all we've done so far with it is buy it and go ahead and take it to our farm. So I'm pretty excited to see what we can do with it now that we can, uh, now that we've got it available for use. We're just gonna, I'm just walking across the street because our first, our first field is that close to where we can just walk across here and go ahead and pick it up. Um, a recent update has, um, it looks like it's given us a new option to go ahead and um, switch vehicles from the map menu, which is pretty exciting. Uh, I did try that out in our last episode. That was uh, something new. I don't think the game had it before, and um, or maybe they unlocked it once we had done a few things. I'm not sure exactly, or maybe I just missed it. In, either way, um, now that... Um, that option's definitely available, and it's been confirmed available. I can go ahead and try that out. Um, remember, in order to harvest the crops, you have to have the header attached, which we do. We can lower it, we can raise it, it's definitely there. Okay. Right, yeah, I get it. I get it. Raise, lower, turn it on, turn it off. I played around with those buttons while we were traveling here pretty familiar with that so now it's just asking us to move the combine to the field which was pretty predictable considering the fact that we've got to harvest something can we fit through yeah we can fit through here no problem traffic yeah there's a little bit of traffic coming hey let's go ahead and turn our lights on for safety and uh, safety first that's our motto here at the overquake farm Go, go, go. Okay, our turn. Hopefully there's nobody coming the other way. And great, fantastic. I'm probably just going to cut across here because I don't want to be on the road too long. This thing isn't very fast and I'm not really sure if I could get out of the way if I really had to. So we're going to get ourselves lined up. Looks like we're going to start harvesting. Um, go ahead and register that I'm here anytime. Anytime, that'd be fine. Okay, I'm here. And hey, when I drive over to this, does it hurt it? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, activate the tempo mat by using keys one through four. Key 2 will give us the best results. Alright, so I sort of had to drive into the middle of the field there. I'm sure you were wondering what that was all about. Because I wanted the instructions to... I wanted the kind of quest system during this first year to recognize that I was here at the field. And now it looks like we can... We're pretty much here. So we're going to lower with R and T to turn on. And let's put uh, push number two. Oh, and that looks like that's giving us a uh, kind of a cruise control there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's go straight. OK. And here we're going. We're filling up the internal. And yeah, we're definitely Dumping out straw there. Okay. Good. So now we're harvesting for the first time. Um, that's pretty exciting. It's got a... It seems like pretty decent internal storage. Um, not amazing, but... I mean, maybe halfway through this first row. Uh, it might take us 10% might take us to the 10% full for every row we'll see that'll give us 10 passes that's pretty good this is a small field but it looks like um, many of the fields on this map are small so that's not that uh, 
This is not an unusual field. It's not a terribly small field. It definitely looks um, like a pretty average size field. And uh, I like that animation, seeing the wheat um, kind of bounce up there a little bit. That's pretty neat. I like that. Oh, okay, so 13% it looks like. Uh, we'll raise this up. And we're going to need to spin around to set ourselves up for a second pass going the other direction. And, um... Oh, no, we're going to miss it. We're going to miss it. Go over that way. Oh, it's so hard to see from in the cab. I'm going to switch views here. Yeah, see, I kind of over overdid it a little bit. Now we've got that header sticking out a little bit where it's not being used. That light actually makes it harder to see. So, yeah, that's that's a little better. That's not so bad. We, we didn't miss by too much. And uh, we're still getting used to this, so... Not so bad. Not so bad at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and continue harvesting this field until either we fill up and have to run over to the trailer, because that'll be our first time trying to dump into the trailer like that, or we have completed and then we still have to do the same thing. So either way, I'm going to come back when that's all done. And now that we've got, got a process started here, yeah, I'm feeling pretty comfortable with this. It seems to be pretty simple. I think we've got this figured out. You can see us inside there. I'll go ahead and pause the video. No real reason to watch me go up and down in rows over and over again. I've done two just to show you kind of how it's working. Kind of shut it off and raise it up so that I can switch. And so, yeah, I'm loving this. We're uh, we're in the middle of our first harvest, so that's kind of amazing. I'm pretty excited about that. I'll come back when there's something else going on when either we're full or we're done, and I'll see you then. All right, here we are. We've gotten to 84% full, and um, it was somewhere in the low 80% that it gave us a warning here that the combine is overfilling and that we needed to store this grain in a trailer or silo. So that's interesting. Um, I don't want to. Overfilling sounds bad, but on the other hand, I would expect it to be able to hold up to its to 100% full. I don't understand why the warning comes at this point, but hey, you know what? Let's uh, That'll give us some more practice. I have no problem uh, taking this over before we do these last, it looks like two-ish passes. Uh, not a problem to go ahead and dump this and then come back for the last two passes. That'll give us some practice and uh, should be interesting. So. We'll go ahead and shut that off, raise it up, 92%. So there's not quite enough room to do, um, definitely not enough room to do everything, uh, this whole field. So we'll go ahead and head over here and hit F to our, open our uh, mower, it says. I don't know, open the pipe and we'll get ourselves into position. Uh, something like that should do the trick. And um, V key now shows up to start stop spilling the grain. So we want to make sure we're definitely... Yeah, it looks lined up. Looks fine. Looks fine. Let's hit V and see what happens. Okay, well, the um, trailer's filling up. So that's looking 
That's looking fine. Yeah. All right, and we will go ahead and stop that, I guess, by pushing F and or by pressing V and bring the pipe back inside with F and go do our last couple of rows. So this uh, that's a pretty easy process, it looks like. I don't know if the game will allow us to spill outside of that trailer or not. I don't know. Farming Simulator doesn't let us make errors like that, so I'm not sure if this one will or not. Not sure. Uh, that's something to be discovered on another day. For now, I'm going to just make sure everything is lined up just so, so that I don't, until I, so that I don't accidentally fill anything up like that accidentally. So, we'll see. Um, when I know more about that, I can figure out whether I need to worry about that or not. It, it might even be kind of like Farming Simulator is that you can't really make that mistake. I'm not sure at this point, so I'm a little nervous about it, but that's okay. Um, we'll just do these last two passes and be all set. It is just about the middle of December right now. This morning I went out and uh, mailed a mailed a package with some uh, presents in it for Christmas to some family who lives a couple states over. And so that's um, that's been going on. The post office is crazy. Um, it's strange to see a line just to mail a box, but um, that's, I guess that makes sense this um, uh, this time of year. I kind of anticipated that. I went early on a Saturday while they were still open and uh, tried to take care of it when I could. Uh, they're giving us a new task to take the combine back to the garage, but I'm not going to do that. I'm definitely going to finish up this field. So, seeing as how it is nearly the middle of December, if you haven't mailed out all those packages and everything you need to send out, it's about time. It's definitely time. I've got our uh, Christmas tree all set up. There are way too many presents under the tree. My wife was telling me last night that we might have gone overboard on Christmas this year, and um, which kind of confused me because I thought that was the point, but <clears throat> that's okay. I, uh, I can understand. We don't want to go crazy, but it's just, it's fun. Um, Something I realized after having children was that the only thing cooler than opening presents on Christmas for yourself was to, like, be able to, like, buy all that stuff. It's kind of fun to go shopping. Um, online, of course. I don't... Why would I go into a store? I mean, if Amazon will ship me just about anything I want, I don't see the point in waiting in all those lines. I've been... You know, as I drive around, like, malls right now are just crazy. You know, it's weird, like, big stores, how they have these gigantic parking lots, and during the summer you forget that they actually use all of that parking lot, some of the, you know, in December. But it just seems like a strange use of real estate to make these gigantic parking lots around malls and Walmarts and, you know, Targets and big stores confusing that there's that those parking lots are that huge only to be really used like for three weeks out of the year it just seems strange to me to waste um, real estate on big parking lots that mostly most of the year just sit empty I don't know I don't understand it anyway but uh, the you know, parking at Amazon is great. I mean, you can get right in and right out. <laughs> it's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, so that's all I have to say about that is I did... I, Christmas this year was 100% online. Pretty excited about that. Uh, that is the way to go. So if I push V right now... Oh, yeah, okay. So, I can do that. But they warned me. 
Oh. Oh, I don't know if I lost all that or what. I couldn't even tell if I made that or not. So I've got to be careful because, yes, you can spill onto the ground. Okay, well, uh, that was a good test. I knew I didn't have too much grain in there, so that was my little test. And, yeah, so we should definitely be nervous about that because there is no safeguard built in that you can only pour grain into the trailer. You can definitely lose some, so that's a little bit scary, but now we know for sure how that all works. I need to find a place to park this guy. Um, because the combine, obviously, we're not going to be using... Hmm. Yeah, not going to be using it terribly often throughout the year. Not like the tractor that we're we always need the tractor for something. So uh, I can't remember whether it said we're sending it to a garage. I'm trying to remember. I think it might have. So hopefully that is the case. Hopefully there's a place where we can kind of store this guy during the rest of the year when we don't really use him. I don't know. I don't even think we have space in the garage for all of this, for this big guy. Um, but I don't know, maybe we can move some stuff around, or... I'm not sure. Okay, here we are. Park and leave the vehicle. You got it. I would be most happy to park and leave the vehicle. Uh, that plow is definitely in the way. I don't even know if it will fit inside of there. Um, try and scoot over, try and squeeze in here. Alright, well the header doesn't fit, but that fits. No, that's not close enough. It wants us to park it, like, here. Oh, maybe this will work. You need to bring the trailer back from the field. Remember, you can use the teleport window. Yeah, let's do that this time. Let's go bring up the map with M, go vehicles, pick, uh... Uh, no. That's weird. That guy should be way over here. Where is the, uh... Yeah. Okay, the map kind of showed it in a weird place, but... Yeah, enter tractor. Got it. Um, let's go and get rid of this grain. Let's put it in our silo. Um, this is the part where we can't quite figure out the speed, so... Okay, well this takes like 10 minutes just to get across the street, which is painful to do, and I'm sure it's painful to watch, so I'll probably, yeah, I'm going to pause the video, uh, take this guy over across the street, and uh, I'll join you when we're back there at the silos. Okay, here we are back at the silos. Um, that took a couple of minutes just to cross the street. I mean, yeah, it's going so slow. Now, I've started to think this through, and it could be that I'm maybe not even doing anything wrong. It might just be that this particular tractor just doesn't have the pulling power to uh, go faster than 7 or 9 kilometers an hour. I'm not... It could just be that simple. Okay, so now we can go ahead and hit R and trolley up. That should go ahead and take care of... Wow, that's just... And bring it back down. And that should have uh, put some wheat into our... into our silo now. 
So now we can go ahead and take these this guy back. As we're going past, let's go ahead and swing right through here where I know we can pull up our menu and see that uh, grain we just put in there. So let's come up here. And check that out. Because right in here, shouldn't that pull up a menu? Yeah, silo menu, pull that up. And it shows that we have 10.25 tons of wheat stored in there now. So we could pour this back out into this guy. And um, then we could take it to market or something like that, I guess. So, okay. But I bet you they're going to have us use that baler right there. That's just a guess. Now that we've got all that straw sitting there on the ground, it kind of makes sense, right? So we need to put this trailer back. Now, there's not really room to do that per se. Um, yeah. Because I sort of had to put this guy there. So not everything sort of fits. So, new plan. Yeah, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and park this here. And hopefully the game doesn't complain too much about that. If I swing around this baler, I can go ahead and point it the right way and just detach it here, I'm guessing. Yeah, it should be okay. We'll see if, um, if it complains too much about this, but I don't really want to take this very far because you can see the speed at which I am allowed to go. It's pretty ridiculously slow. It's like seven to nine kilometers an hour and it doesn't seem to matter what gear I go into. Yeah, I don't understand. Yeah, well. I don't know. So, pushing Q? Good, that detached us. Leave the vehicle. Sure, no problem. E. We've done that. And we, uh, we now get to go upgrade our silo. I don't see why. We've only used 10 tons and we can store 100. But okay, uh, we're going to go in here and upgrade if it asks us to. Sure. Uh, enter. And uh, upgrade our silo. Do they want us to upgrade this one? Or... One of the other, I guess this one? Yeah, alright, let's try that. Oh, much taller now. Much taller. Okay. Now you need to bale the hay that l was left on the fields. So we're going to, yeah, we'll bale this all up. That'll be a good place to end today. To, um, looks like next time we're going to be uh, baling. So that's a good place to stop. And we're going to get to use this guy next time. Friend, 1219. Yeah. Friend. Nice. Okay, well, we'll uh, pick up there on next episode. We'll be bailing. That's exciting. Everybody, really want to thank you for watching. This has been Overquake, playing Professional Farmer 2014. Everybody, have a great day. Oh.